Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's another episode of WPRT Roundtable Podcast. We're talking WordPress. We're talking podcast. I have one of the people that I go to when I have questions about either A, WordPress, B, podcasting, or C, life in general. I have Jason Tucker with me on the show. Um, I have a this amazing picture, which I found over on jasontucker.blog which is the only picture I think of him, he said, that is on the East Coast by the ocean. Everything else is West Coast because you live in California, correct? I sure do. Cool. So this is episode 201 with Jason Tucker, podcasting with no agenda. And I can't wait to talk about it because I, myself, my name is Russell Aaron. I have no agenda. What I do is learn WordPress to keep a roof over my head. Maybe that's my agenda, right? I got to eat. I got to keep my babies alive, keep things going. But really, I'm not doing a website to um, to like make money. I'm not trying to market. I'm not trying to like get subscribers. I'm really just a personality at the end of it. So I'm very interested, Jason, what you mean by podcasting without an agenda you've been doing this since 2000 and what nine 2004 2000 yeah 2006 <laughs> is when i started my first podcast wow um, yeah and during that time i um i i i started i started doing the podcast and i also wanted to figure out how to get other people like get involved with other people that are doing podcasts as well and so what that led me to um, to start going to my first meetups was in 2006, if I remember right, somewhere in there, 2006, sure. 2007. Your, I was first, going to the, your first podcast meetup or were these WordPress meetups yeah, or, or were these podcasts. just like, okay. Yeah, podcast meetups. So po podcasts in their, um, you know, when they first started off, you didn't need to have a website or anything like that. You just needed to have an RSS feed and a place to host your MP3 files, and that's it. And wow. that RSS feed was handcrafted, loading up Notepad or whatever your text editor of choice was, and um, going in there and actually writing out that um, that podcast uh, RSS feed by hand. Oh, so um, doing all of that, that was that was definitely a uh, a, a little bit of a science um, and a little bit of an art to try to kind of make that thing work. And yeah, slowly but surely, you just start building out that podcast um, RSS file, and then we started finding that companies were building these on your behalf, and you could pay for it, and you could kind of go, you know, go that way. But you that, mean it, that it gets easier? <laughs> well, I guess it got easier. Which <laughs> over, but, time, it, over time, over time, it never fair. felt like it never felt like it was getting easier though, because when we go to these meetups, and the same meetups happen, same things happen at our WordPress meetups you go to these meetups and people are like, how do you do this thing? And they're more worried about like the, the easy part, which is like, you know, take this RSS file, write some text into it. You literally copy and paste it if you wanted to. It's and, kind of, um, it, it's it. kind of like going to a WordPress meetup when they're like, what's the best plugin to do whatever going to a podcasting. They're like, yep. what's the best microphone to do this? And they want the microphone and they want the stand and they want the, all the things. And you know, the, we didn't have USB microphones just yet. So everything was XLR, XLR. connections and, and it was just, yeah, it was just teaching people how to do stuff that we took for granted as being super simple. Oh, just plug these things in and you're done. And they're wondering, like, how do I, how do I hear myself, and how do I monitor the signal, and how do I, you know, just all these things. So, um, I was uh, during that time, like, I was the president of the Orange County WordPress. Um, I'm sorry, the president of the Orange County Podcasting Meetup. Um, the president, where, I love it. Yeah, yeah, and I was running that thing, so it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We, we, were, so, we, we were even recording those things as a podcast, which was kind of super meta. So how did you get into that? Did you have um, uh, equipment laying around? Did you start a job and they were like, hey, I have a microphone? Were you in a band? I mean, you know, how did you actually... Because <laughs> I've been watching this thing on Netflix. It's called... Um, the evolution evolution of hip hop and like they go through yeah. and they and they show like grand Flaster or grandmaster flash where like uh -huh. he created the sound and he's like i invented this machine so you know tell us that story first where did where was your first mic xlr did sure. did you get a degree on youtube were, were you still reading books at the time <laughs> i mean you know how did the roll 
Yeah, what the what got me started on it is um, is listening to other podcasts that were coming up. So there was a couple different um, Adam Curry, who was uh, famous on um, MTV years and years ago um, as a I guess they called them VJs, and so he. DJ. Yeah, so he he was like the video you know disc jockey of of the of the thing, and so he started a, a podcast that I was listening to. Daily Source Code was what it was called. Daily and Source he, Code, shout out. Yeah, yeah, and so that was that was a that was a cool show to listen to, and he was essentially the podfather. He was the one that was running podcasting. So if you hear anybody that says that they're saying that they're the podfather, um, they're lying because unless it's Adam Curry himself, then. And he's you're there he's definitely that person's definitely lying so yeah that was it was fun what got me started with it was um i'm i've been a technology person my whole life i take whatever it is i have available at my disposal and and try to play with it and try to right. come up with cool things to do with it and um i was i was recording myself taking a walk every day and oh, wow. i was working i was working at this company that it was a it was a toy company and they, um, I was the only IT person in the whole building. I was the only person, I think I was probably maybe one of like a handful of people that even spoke English. We had a lot of people that were like running around picking and packing and, and doing all these things with um, our product and stuff. And so I was probably one of like maybe just a handful of people that were working in the office. And sure. um, I get bored and I was like, I'm gonna go outside and go take a walk. So I take a walk and um, I started having all these great ideas. These like almost like, uh, uh, these ideas of uh, how do I how do I do this how do I do that and I need to write it down and it's almost like you're in the shower kind of thing and so I take this like right. two mile walk at lunch and I'm trying to figure out like okay what do I do so I start recording myself you're I, you're building it in your head is what you're doing uh -huh. you, you, and, and not only that you're practicing so like as you're yeah. writing it you're going hey guys I'm Jason Tucker how's it going uh huh I and, do the same thing all right. I have those old videos too, so I, I can pull oh, them up wow. and show you at some point. So what I was doing is recording audio and, and then slowly but surely started recording video. And then that led to me um, wanting to post them on some place. And I found um, there's a couple different services that existed back in the day. One of them was this really stupidly named company called Utters, U-T-T-E-R-Z. And what you would do is you would did they have like a did they have like a a, a cow theme like you remember remember, remember gateway had like the cow boxes and stuff was yeah. it a lot like that yeah Utters. so what you did what you did uh. with that is you would call in a phone number and then they had okay. a phone tree and the phone tree lets you um you could click push one of the buttons to um to leave a voicemail for yourself Ooh. you'd leave a voicemail for yourself oh i think i can't remember how long it was that you're allowed to do it but you could leave a voicemail, but you could also listen to other voicemails that people were, were leaving on there as well. And then it would let you download an MP3 file or it could post it automatically to Facebook or to, um, I can't remember the other services. There was a couple, maybe it wasn't Facebook. Maybe it was just like MySpace or something, but there was like a couple of places. Live you could journal. <laughs> yeah, maybe live journal too, but, <laughs> but you would post that and then people could listen to it. And so that wow. kind of spawned this whole idea for me of like, okay, what's the next piece here? What's the next piece here? Sure, um, think of man. it almost like um, it, it's very much um, along the same lines of how um, Anchor is. I don't know if you've ever used Anchor or uh -huh. looked at Anchor podcasting. Anchor.fm. Um, it's just like that. It was that same type of thing where they were a service that wanted you to podcast to them. Then they would go and host it for you and get it all set up. So oh, wow. that was that was Utters way back in the day. Was Utters, was man. Yeah. So, so you just you're a technology guy, you play around with things and you start figuring things out. And then you, you get on the internet when it comes around, you know, Google IPO would in 2004. So I want to say that's when they actually, you know, doubled down and became the search people that we know now. And, yeah. you know, you start learning this stuff. So you're running My meetups. First experience online was in 2000. I'm sorry. was in uh, 1995 was wow. my first experience online. I built my- I was, my, the, I was I in 99. My, yeah, I built my school's website in um, 1996. Wow. And- um, Using I, front I was, page? No, it's all hand coded. Oh man, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I actually never used front page. The only time I ever had to use front page was what I was explaining to someone when I worked at a web host, had to actually use front page and I, I had to figure it out while I was teaching them. Wow. Part for the course. So, Jason, walk me through this. You, you, 
we kind of understand where you come from now. You you yeah. are the guy I describe you as. Give it to Jason Tucker, and he will not only tell you how it works, he'll show you where the warranty is, the serial number, and he'll show you a cool website that already has 10 accessories for it. Uh-huh. Like, you're you're that guy. You're my body yeah. guy. Like, funny enough, you're the one running this stream yard right now. It's supposed to be my show. You're running it right now. Like, like you're my guy. Really? No, but you know, if I didn't tell anybody that, it's so they would believe that. That's, that's, my point. <laughs> that's my point here. So, you know, how do you transition into having your shows, water cooler and blab? Yeah, yeah. Because you're running meetups and you're recording, you're going on walks, and you probably have a lot of content written down and you know, probably sure. um Evernote was was that well that was around in two thousand three, but Evernote oh, was yeah. a thing. So oh, yeah. you know, when when you get this idea, hey, I'm going to have this podcast. Where I'm going to, uh, you know, how do we get to there? Yeah. So my my first podcast was in 2006, and um, I wanted to do a podcast with a friend of mine. Him and I were both going through the same struggles of being overweight and wanting to lose weight and wanting to, you know, do all this stuff. And so we we bought the domain name geekfit.com. And geekfit.com. So, and there's actually a podcast called Geekfit right now. And if cool. they want to buy the domain name off of me at some point, they're, they're more than happy to. They they haven't taken any of my offers, but feel free and, to hit and, me up if you want. And if you guys want to get in touch with them, Jason Tucker's in the <laughs> down below. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and go, you know, all right. So, exactly. Geekfit. So, so, Geekfit. And then after that, uh, my wife and I did a, a podcast together where we essentially like bitched and complained about our kids. Um, online and it was you just were telling like, me this. Uh, okay yeah and so we did that show we did that for um, that was 2007 to 2009 and then um, we live pretty close to Disneyland and we would go to Disneyland pretty much um, at least two times a week we would drive down there I mean I we live so close we can hear the fireworks at night um, yeah but sure. from from 2011 to 2013 um, we did a podcast called Disney Day Trippers Disney where we would Day Trippers. Yeah, so we would like right. do um, um, talking about you know Disneyland and the different things that are there. We review different foods and we did all sorts of fun stuff with it. Did and, Did you talk about being in line forever? Well, it's funny you say that. So um, while <laughs> did you re- did you line, record while you were in line? Well, well, well. This is not podcast related, but I was standing in line one day and I overheard somebody say something funny, and I was just like, "That is so stupid! Like, why would somebody say that?" And so. Um, my wife and I, Jen, were kind of talking about this, and I was like, it'd be funny if we had like a website where we collected people's overheards. So we started an overheard website called Overheard at Disneyland. O H A T D L. Overheard, overheard at Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah. And so I built a whole Twitter bot and I had all this stuff set up, but I bought that domain name while I was standing in line for um, for a ride. Um, and it was Pirates of the Caribbean, and we were just standing, and I was like, O H A T D L dot com, go. And so I bought it, and then we started setting everything up. I set up a Twitter account. Dude. I started feeding off of it. And then I built a bot that would um, – you would use the hashtag, and it would bring in that, you know, bring in that overheard, and then it would retweet it, you know, on your Oh, behalf. dude. So, super fun. Dude. Yeah. All right. I'm like you, dude. You come up with some crazy idea, and you're like, I'm going to build it. And then you end up with, like, 500 domain names and multiple podcasts and all sorts of stuff like that. You know, it, it's for me, it's mellowed out over the years. So same thing. I, I take you and I have similar looking dogs. You have Lincoln and I have Mitchell. <laughs> they, they look very similar. And so, you know, I catch you on Instagram or on Twitter sometimes and you're walking and you're just talking, man. And like I did the same thing. I used to walk my dog. I lived in this apartment complex and, you know, I worked from home. I was working um, at WDS. So I could just in the middle of a day, if I was thinking something or maybe I was going to a meetup that night and I was speaking. I wanted to take that 20, 40 minutes and I would just practice and and talk and, and work that way. When I showed up, I'm not saying, um, and I have something other than hold on, let me get my screen to work. Oh, this thing does, right. you know, I, I want to be prepared. And I think that's kind of my charm. Also why I think people, can stand to watch me on on tv sometimes is yeah, I, want, yeah. I want to come prepared so what i'm saying is you know doing the same thing i would i have this great idea i'm going to talk about this and i've got the domain and i've got hosting like i got this watch uh-huh. I'll, I'll upload x theme and beaver builder in and you know like 20 minutes later i'm like all right i gotta write the about what is this about you know i didn't put any <laughs> thought into that <laughs> all right 
So somewhere in that whole 20, the 2007, 2011, that whole area, somewhere in there, um, I started getting into um, doing uh, uh, meetups for WordPress, WordPress meetups, and getting involved in the local WordPress meetups. Yeah. And I ended up over at Steve Zengit's um, office when he, he's moved a few times. Now he doesn't even have an office. It's all virtual. But um, at one point he was like, uh, hey, I, just I think he, I think he's virtual office. too. <laughs> yeah right so he had this uh office and we, we jammed it full of people and we were sitting there you know with the tv and we're learning how to do wordpress stuff and he goes you know guys uh this room's just too small we're gonna end up moving to another office so he actually got another office and started a lease and it was one of those offices that had like a back um a back storage area in the back yeah. like almost like if you had like a like a repair shop or something with like yeah. the actual garage in the back so that garage section of it became his um, WordPress meetup. His meetup space. space. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know how he was doing it tax wise, but it, it ended up working out pretty good for him because he had a lot of people that were showing up to that meetup. Wow. And um, I, you know, I lived in I live in Whittier. He lives in Huntington Beach. It's about twenty five ish miles away. Wow. Twenty five okay. miles in Southern California means about two hours to get there. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> That, so like, that's you know, it, that's if you left 20 minutes ago. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so for me, it was like, you know, I wanted to capture that idea of going to one of these meetups without actually having to go to it, even though yeah. I'd go to it, but I wanted people to still continue to, to do this. Um, I, I, I recently uh, lost my job and I was like, okay, how do I, how do I make this work? I started building people's websites yeah. and essentially I needed that, like, I needed that, um, that water cooler vibe where it's like, everybody stands around the water cooler and we all just sit there and shoot it and just talk about whatever's going on. And, right. um, you know, Flavor whatever the day. The, yeah, whatever it is. And so I was like, I want that water cooler thing. So my wife and I were sitting there, you know, at the table talking, having breakfast one morning. And I was like, I'm going to start another podcast. And she's like, for real, like you're going to start another podcast. You just, <laughs> you just finished one. You want to start another one? And I was like, yeah, I'm Jones in front of the podcast. And she's like, cool. What are you going to call it? And I was like, it needs to be a water cooler. Like it needs to be around water the water cooler. cooler. And so I was like, how about uh, like WP water cooler? And she's like, I guess. So I, guess. I, went, I went and bought the domain name and things started working out with it. And boom, there you go. So we started the show and made it so that I essentially took the people that were going to that meetup and brought all those personalities in and said, let's have this meetup where instead of, yeah. um, instead of, and we did it at lunch. So let's pretend that we're going to have lunch together, hang out, talk, and be able to um, talk about WordPress stuff for a half an hour. And, um, you know, you put a lot of time and energy into making a half an hour work. Yeah. And um, it worked out good. So, yeah, we've been doing that since uh, 2012. That's about the timeline, like like on this Jay Tucker podcast timeline. You know, NQ Russ. That's when I came <laughs> in, in in 2012, and um, you were setting up cameras. You were live streaming to Facebook, and I think to UStream or live stream. So uh -huh. You were you were only podcasting. You were actually bringing the meetup experience to people while you were doing this, and not only that, I think that was around the time maybe it was 2014 15 when you started to expand and not only have oc but then you had inland empire and then you had um north hollywood and then you had like you know san diego and like you'd have these bigger things and they were all asking you how do you set this up how do you do that so you know yeah how did you transition from hey i'm this guy that does these podcasts now you're technical support for half of sadly, the west coast sadly, how, i know. didn't transition that's the okay. thing okay I'm people that once i do something i'm going to continue to do it as long as sure. i can so the podcasts were still happening i was um i was live streaming steve zengit's um meetups um, actually using two webcams and and actually did a whole talk at uh, WordCamp Phoenix about it. You can go look on it on WordPress TV, but there's a whole like um, talk where I kind of went through the evolution of the hardware that I used in order to be able to record a screen as well as record a person that's talking and bring it into a video and then be able to kind of stream it out. Um, but yeah, I started doing that and then we got into um, Orange County WordPress um, uh, the, their WordCamp and wanting to live stream that and then also record it. And then we started getting the hardware from um, the foundation who wanted us to use their hardware to be able to kind of do all of that. Yeah. And um, I was involved in a little bit in um, like the decision making on which hardware to use and which software to use and all of that. Um, sure. 
Yeah, so that that just kind of evolved into Jason knows how to do video instead of just podcasting. Can you get right. involved in it? Um, I didn't do a, a lot of the places, but there was like there was plenty of places where I would get some type of um, somebody's asking me a question on, hey, how do I make this thing work, or how do I do this other thing, or me. I want to stream it, or yeah, exactly. And so <laughs> yeah, just you know, each each time we, it just got better and better, and those venues started getting better where they were doing those themselves, so I didn't have to be involved in it anymore. Thank goodness. And you know, you were you were early. I want to say you were pre WordPress TV. You know, you had uh, Brandon Dove and Jeffrey um, Zen. Oh, Zen. You know, you had people like wow. that. And every okay, every time you say Steve Zeng, it's meetup. I'm imagining a sign that looks like Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. <laughs> Steve <laughs> Zeng, it's meetup. <laughs> it's like it's like neon. You know, there's probably a glass or something. But you, you know, um, it's part of the boys playing in there. Oh. <laughs> If, if if it was, I would never leave. Um, that's what my catalog, man. But every time you keep saying Steve saying it's me that I imagine Jimmy Buffett's kind of kind of thing. But you know, you were pre that you were you were recording these things going on, and, and it was very early word campish in the sense of, you know, I always say when you go to a meetup and when you talk at a meetup, it should be two things: what is the problem and how do you solve it. Yeah. And you, you were just building this library and it was on Facebook or, you know, Periscope comes out, you jump on Periscope, obviously Blab mm -hmm. comes out. Now you named a show after it. I mean, yeah. you know, like that, is that part of your marketing? Is that part of your strategy? Or is that Jason Tucker, the kid that we, we, we met, you know, 20 minutes ago when this thing started and you're like, there's this thing called Blab. All right, I'll, I'll create an account. I'll figure out how it works. It, yeah. Is it one way or the other? Um, I don't know. It's like I, I like technology. I like using new stuff. I don't like being the person who goes like, what's TikTok? You know, it's like I don't want to be that person. Like I want to be I want to be that person that's at least tried it once. And if and if I found good value in it or if it has good APIs, then I'd be more than happy to jump in and start using it. Um, I remember um, at the or, or what it was a, it was WordCamp San Francisco. I think it was either like the second to last one or maybe the, the, the last one. Um, Matt Mullenweg goes up on stage and he talked about um, the number of views that were happening on WordPress TV. And so I'm sitting here with my, you know, JP Water Cooler crew, and we're we're you know we're all sitting there watching him up on stage talking. He goes, guys, I just want to let you know we just we just passed one million views on you, you know, one million views on WordPress TV, and everybody wow. around me started laughing. And they're they're like, dude, we're at four million views. Like we're four times what WordPress itself is doing. Wow. And I was like, oh, wow, that's that's crazy. So, yeah, there was one of those, you know, we were ahead of them. You know, we, we're, we were ahead of WordPress TV in that we wanted to just make sure that all of our technologies were working together. And whatever technology we were doing, um, it always funneled into either YouTube or now it's funneling into YouTube and Facebook or it's funneling into YouTube, Facebook and Periscope. Um, I could you, I could stream to Twitch right now if I wanted to. Like whatever the systems are that we want to use, yeah. um, we're going to use it. Have you ever seen that movie, The Internship, with uh, not, Owen yeah. Wilson? And there's a part where he's naming things he wants to take home. So he's like salsa, salsa chips and pudding. So like what you were just doing with all that, it kind of reminded uh -huh. me of that. You're like Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, all these things. It's kind of well, funny. Be quick man. to drop those things. Like if you if you're using a system that doesn't work, get out of it. So we started out um, doing our show off of um, off of Google Hangout, and Google Hangout was uh, connected to Google Plus. Well, Google Plus, you know. It, it it died onto the vine kind of thing, and it just it just never it never fully uh, recently. You know, did what to do. Yeah, just recently. <laughs> so now you have now you have Google too Hangout. Soon, bro, Google too Hangout. soon, bro. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Google Hangout turned into um, YouTube Live. Yeah. And so YouTube Live. If you go on YouTube and just click on the little the little plus sign, and it says, "Do you want to upload a video or do you want to go live on it?" You could just go yeah. live straight out of your browser. Um, if so you have, if you have a a big following then you can just do it from your smartphone but until you have that following you just can't even do it exactly. yet exactly yeah do you have that do, do you and, have the ability to go live from yeah, your you smartphone live off of it. oh yeah all right new podcast goal i guess <laughs> yeah so you have that and then the other piece to it is that um is that we is that uh you had google meet well google meet turned into its own separate thing kind of like zoom or any of these other ones and so we, we, you know, 
as the technology started to evolve, I wanted more and more things. So at one point, yeah. we used Zoom for probably like, I want to say it was maybe six or seven months, and I hated it. Like Zoom yeah. just didn't give me what I wanted. I needed to have the people on the bottom of the screen. I needed to have, um, or everyone on the screen, or the, I needed to have more than just like functionality. Want like you a, wanted functionality. Yeah. And I didn't want to look like everyone else. And I also didn't want to spend like 75 bucks a month to be able to stream it, which is what Zoom charges like a ridiculous amount to be able to stream onto YouTube and, and Facebook. And so, yeah, it's just like, I'm going to try something different. And then, um, you know, I went through many iterations, which we ended up where, you know, we're talking about using Blab. Uh, yeah. And I started um, that Blab service, started using that service. And then we named the show after it just because it was like, well, we're just going to be sitting here kind of talking about whatever. I, I remember you saying that. Let's I, just I, name it after it. Why not? I, I was on episode, fun fact, ready? I was on episode either 10 or 11, and that's the episode where Bridget actually sang. She wrote a song, and, you know, it's like, WP Blab, like, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, And, you know, NQ Russ, again, that's, you know, uh -huh. where, where I come in. And, you know, those, even that software, that was something where you could have multiple people in the waiting room. Yeah. Um, and then eventually it got down to only two people in the waiting room because you could only have four people in the room total. So, you know, they started limiting things. And, you know, that's, I remember you telling me that's why you started migrating to, a different a different setup altogether and you know that that's where the origins of this show comes from it was originally wp roundtable and all the episodes uh started with hoa in the youtube title for oh. hangouts on air um, oh yeah yeah when, when hangouts on air first became a thing they mm -hmm. wanted to brand the show HOA because that's what people were searching for. So, you know, our roots, this show, oh, you know, I, that's funny. I, when I never I, even did that. And I used it like the day it came out and never, yeah. never, even, named, never even thought to name it off after that. I, so fun fact, I asked Kyle, um, who used to, you know, he was me of the show yeah. in the past. And so I asked him, you know, what does this mean? And, and what did he do? And, you know, he was saying that the whole show was, built on hangouts every episode yeah. before the last two you know before you and Devin, everything else was there even me i was on hangouts i i did that and every one of those so when meat came around i was excited uh -huh. i was like i'm just gonna use that i get to have the same quality of the show and it'll kind of be this retro kind of and then they made it so hard to try to even stream or even just to record something. Cause I, I went through, um, and, and this is where I'm going to ask you, Jason, because I'm starting a podcast. You're on said podcast. Yeah. Um, you know, I've obviously taken your advice. I'm on StreamYard. I I've taken Bridget's advice and I've started branding and I've started doing some things. So, you know, where, where should, if you're getting started, where do people a, where should they look? Or, you know, what, what is your best podcast advice that you could give somebody, you know, either a starting out or me, I've known you since 2012 and I'm still <laughs> not figuring things, you know, what could you give me? Um, well, what I used to say when, um, I did, I did a podcasting talk, geez, it must've been like, uh, maybe like 2010, 2011 or something where we started, um, you know, I, I would tell people to do like an episode zero. So it's like the, the episode zero would be considered like an I unaired pilot. Something. Yeah. I want to, I want to just, I want to hit record and I want to do it and see what happens. Um, because when you get people that come on, you know, to just sit in front of a microphone <laughs> and they're talking, essentially talking to themselves, like if anybody outside of this room is listening to me, they're hearing only my side of the conversation. Oh um, yeah. You know, it's like, that's my so favorite be, part <laughs> so because of that it's like and you hear yourself like if you go and listen to yourself like me personally i don't edit any of my own shows we don't even edit the shows we just hit record go to live and then that's it um uh, you end up getting these ums ahs uhs you get all of those things and you want to trim them all out and you want to clean it all up don't do that and if you're going to do that hire somebody else to do it don't do it yourself because you're going to drive yourself mad wanting to kind of clean up all of those oh, things. Yeah. You're better off teaching yourself not to do that. For and sure. for someone who's been doing podcasts as long as I have, 
I still haven't trained myself to get out of it because my brain's probably Currently going a little bit faster than my mouth is going. So you, when you're thinking about this stuff and you're going to try to do one of these shows, um, give it a shot. See, hit record. See what happens. And do it with the cheapest thing ever. Go get an account on, on Anchor and then hit record. They give you everything in your phone and you just hit record and you're done. Um, don't do video unless you really want to do video. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason to sit here and do video and, and like this, like what we're doing right now, the amount of benefit you get out of video is very minimal because most of the time people are, um, running around listening to the podcast. They're on a treadmill, they're yeah. on a bike, they're on a car. None of these places you can actually, I mean, I listen to podcasts every morning when I'm in the shower. Me too. I can't watch a podcast. I mean, I guess I could if I really wanted to. But you don't but, have a TV in your bathroom. I have a TV behind me. Look, I have a TV behind me, Jason Tucker, and I have uh, I have a drop shadow of five spacing blue background, top left <laughs> corner. You know, you don't have a TV in your bathroom to watch so, podcasts. Uh, All right, but, but so there's no there's no reason to do video unless you need to, and sure. unless you're going to be doing things where you're going to have um, either instruction, you're going to show it on the screen, or um, you're trying to sell something, so you need to you know actually show the product or whatever you don't have to you don't have to do video if you don't want to i say start with the barest minimum thing which is pull out your phone download anchor hit record and use it and 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 give that a shot after that you can go crazy and figure out what else you want to do if you want to do video because video is a pain man i mean i just recently after all these years you know seven years almost eight years of doing water cooler just barely started doing intros to the show so that that's where I wanted to segue into this. So that's my advice as well. Um, when I was trying to figure out what do I what do I want the show to be, um, you know, I figured out what tool do I want to use, and Streamyard was it. When I came into here, there's banners and branding, and then you can upload graphics and you know cool things like that. So I spent a long time working on this overlay here and coming <laughs> up with what I want each YouTube video to look like when it comes across here, even like when we're going to pimp out our Twitter and, you know, to YouTube, I wanted to have these shots ready to go and yeah. practice, practice, practice. My biggest advice I, I would say is I use an app. It's called recorder. Google makes it. It's called Google recorder. And it, it does two things. It records you talking into your phone, but it will also test of its ability will transcribe your text so it will let you record and then it will turn you to your next blog post to copy and paste and go over there and yeah. for me if i can listen to my annoying voice me i hear myself long and if i can listen to myself and i can interest myself in it then i think i can interest other people yeah yeah, yeah. sounds so, good intros let's get into this because like i said yeah. i have i have some jpegs some pngs that are standard placeholders you my man you send thing i get these weird things from you sometimes and like it's it's a message and it just goes hey check this like nothing no intro it's just like check this and it's an unlisted video of you and like being on a podcast watching you because you explain hey guys i'm sitting around and i'm doing this and you know i thought about this and you know it, it's never really this to the point of like you're not testing premiere pro or after effects to produce this but you're like i'm thinking this is the upgrade or this is how we do the show some some rebranding here's how we get into that you know what got you into wanting to do that and you know what does that process look like for you now of you know you're you're not pigeonholing yourself but you know now you're committed you already released one now you right. i know jason tucker each one of those episodes that comes out next week and the next week has uh -huh. to at least be that quality or better so you yeah. know walk us through that 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 new transition that what you're doing yeah so intros um Intros are a tough, a tough thing to deal with. Um, you want to give your guests enough time to be able to tell people who they are and maybe get, and, you know, maybe hire them to do work for them or maybe just some way of like, you know, you, if you're going to be on the show, there's a reason why you're on the show. It's either yeah. you're trying to get um, more exposure 
you're trying to um, you're trying to get people to know that you even exist. Um, you're trying to show them that you, and this is the whole point point of building WP Water Cooler to begin with. Was WP Water Cooler was for me to be able to get more work, and I wanted to be able to show people this is the stuff I know. And not only that, here's a bunch of people I know that are going to probably do work with me. I can bring yeah. in Steve if I need to. I could bring in Russ if I need to. I could bring in you know any of these people and be like, hey. Let's do this. So those intros were super important to me, but the intros were taking like seven minutes to get through. Everybody's doing their thing and me saying the stuff and that it, I wanted to If we to make play. a joke or if there's a, an internal it, side, yeah, it, okay. it, turns, it turns into this like big old thing. So it's like, how do we get out of that intro space as quickly as possible? Um, for a couple of reasons. One, we have an advertiser that's on the show that I want to make sure um, they get they get their ad space um, within the first couple minutes of the show. I'm yeah. actually giving them their ad space within the first minute of the show, which is pretty dang cool. That's um, part of your it, Patreon Patrick package, right? Um, if you wanted to do that, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Or you just pay, pay me directly. Either way, either one works for me. But um, yeah, the, the, you have that sort of thing. But also the fact that I want to get into the meat and potatoes of the show because it's a yeah. half an hour show. So WP Blab, on the other hand, is a show as that- As long as you want it to be. Hour. It's an hour show, um, but, it, but it's one of those things where it's like we have a structure that's built in place and we want to kind of get through that structure. The, the hard part about doing intros that are pre-recorded is that um, if you have a guest that's on the show, um, they're not going to be part of those intros. Well, that's yeah. also the case if you're watching TV. If you're watching TV and you're, you know, you're watching whatever the TV show is, they do See, all the people I, that are on the show, but they don't yeah. show like every single background person or every single guest spot on the show. They may I, mention I, their I, name or whatever. Uh, Saturday Night is that right? You see, yeah. um, you see Wig and you see Will Ferrell and you see those names. You know, they try to, they very much try to. Anybody who you will see on this stage, they have their name and they have some kind of intro. And you know, they go and record those before the season starts. And that's one of those podcasting, you don't have seasons. So it's kind of hard, like you were saying. To do that. And it's yeah. almost like, it's almost like you're trying to hit a weekly goal. And, and the goals just don't fail. You know, like if I work <laughs> as hard as I did last week, I produce this content, which, you know, looks great, but here's where we're at. And yeah. all right, it's Friday at 1230. Where do I do? All right, go into your WordPress, start a new table. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. like start, start all over again. And people are getting tired of saying their thing. It's like, oh, this is, you know, this I, is I will never get tired. This is my thing. I do or say is forgetting what it is. And at one point, the reason why I did what I did is that um, I believe it was like two episodes ago. Say says, "Do you think people fast forward through this?" Yeah, in three fifty nine during during the episode that I go the first know? thirty seconds. It's like Bambi, you know, like they just clobber ba Bambi's mom. Yeah. So man. it's like, how many times do you need to push the the skip button on you know Overcast or whatever it is you're listening to your Spotify, podcast on? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna push 30 seconds a couple times and now they 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 bypassed the beginning of the show because we're not timed in such a way where it's like okay we're at the 30 second mark and now we're actually talking yeah 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 we don't do that so because of that it's like all right how do i how do i do this the right way and i was like all right i'm gonna just take little clips of us doing our intros steal those out of you know the last couple episodes throw them in there Say was out for a couple months, um, you know, uh, going through her stuff. So I was like, okay, I need to grab what I need and then, you know, put everything together. So I just took whatever I could for the last couple episodes, stuck them in there, and, and let her rip. I mean, that's gonna um, that's gonna carry over to Spotify and all those too. Now when it starts, you know, you yeah. have an actual you have an actual intro, like it's pumping and like it, it you know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not just like, hey guys, and like. You know, the other thing with your intro is my mic sounds good and your mic sounds good, but then the other person is kind of like, you know, it's, it's like, hey, I'm Russell Aaron, I'm in Las Vegas. You know, it, it's it's that whole yeah. thing, and and it's those various levers, uh, levels, um, uh huh, 
you know and, and that's after i processed it that's after i put it into the audio editor and normalized everything and did all the stuff i needed to to try to make that sound the way it that, could sound that's after it's gone through dreamweaver premiere pro <laughs> after effects and audacity right. <laughs> and and you know now you got to format it to 10 20 7 7 uh-huh. 80, like yeah interesting man so intros you wanted to actually stop Bless the me. St- stop the 15 20 minute thing get right to the meat of uh of your content but also you have trailers now too you have an ending of the show where you're, yeah. you're saying this is where a you can follow me this is how you can sponsor us this is how you can become a patreon this is uh-huh. so you're not just being pre-show you're thinking post-show as well and that probably is is something that it has to do with youtube so did that, YouTube, did, did that come together it. though? Did you decide you were going to do an intro and an outro together or oh, was yeah. it, yeah. was that you finished one and now it's another project? Yeah. So I started out where I was just using a still image at the very end of the show where I wanted to have um, that in title card that YouTube does. So that way it's going to promote another video that you have, you know, in yeah. your, uh, in your thing, or it could be like, for instance, with Bridget and I, if we have somebody who does a podcast with like, if you're on the show, we could, and you're referencing something, um, you know, maybe we were talking about podcasting. So I wanted to link to this, this episode, um, at that in title card, I could put here's Russ's video. And then here's a random one that works really great. That's from our, you know, like let YouTube kind of figure it out yeah, or you sure. put a special, you know, special playlist or whatever you want in there. But that in title card is important because for somebody who's been binge, binge watching, they're going to probably want to click on one of those and, and watch it as well. Hopefully. But it needs to be long enough. But it needs to be long enough that it um, it allows the person to actually go and and um, click on it. I'm one of those people. I don't know if you are, but I, I watch a lot of YouTube and I watch a lot of YouTube on my TV, and I don't even use my phone as the the interface. I'm actually just using the remote control um, through uh, Apple TV to just go through and and watch um, YouTube. So I got Google. Of that, that in title got, card needs to work. So I need yeah. to push it up and then move up to the spot and click on it. So I need to have a long enough time. Our current one doesn't do that, but man, like to talk for a whole minute at the end of the show after we've like finished, that's tough, man. So it's like, I, you know, I got to give myself enough to talk about and, um, and that sort of thing. And because this is a, both a podcast as well as a YouTube video show and Facebook and all the other places, um, you're going to kind of sacrifice, Hey, you know, it's at the end of the show. Most people are bailing out at the end of it anyhow. So at least I'm giving them the opportunity to, um, to see that piece. Yeah. And it's mainly just for YouTube, not for anybody else. So here's how I want to end this, Jason is, yeah. um, you know, I have these little things here. So for anyone watching or, or playing the home game, um, if you, just listen to Jason Tucker tell you his story of how he got into this, how he was, you know, recording things at meetups, running video, audio, doing the soundboard and, you know, like the lighting in the room and making sure people's microphones. There's so much we didn't talk about that you do. Yeah. Let me remind you this. Jason Tucker also builds his own websites. He builds his church websites. He helps people on the side. And he also just has like, a massive knowledge of engineering for what he does personally for a church, which is it internet phone outlook, you know, your, your vastness in this. And you know, this is where you and I are very similar is we've both worked those jobs. When I was at a mortgage company, I was the it guy, the email guy, the computer guy, the website guy, you know, that's Mm -hmm. kind of, I think where my appreciation comes, but you know, think about what we just listened and and you know as you described and that's maybe a billionth of of what you've actually acquired since you know that myspace became a thing to now right. snap, now to, now to tiktok like you said between myspace uh-huh. and tiktok you know that entire decade yeah, <laughs> yeah. in your head <laughs> ready to go and, and and that's very impressive um Thanks, so man. i got I've got a couple things here. You can follow Jason Tucker at WP Watercooler on Twitter, at WP Blab on Twitter. It's now the WordPress Marketing Show. First of all, I think that's a great name. Jason Tucker.blog, Jason Tucker.us, 
wpwatercooler.com slash you know, domain names. You know, you have yeah, like I want to see a screenshot of you know GoDaddy, <laughs> Namecheap, like wherever you have it. But um, so everything below, here's how you can follow me. My name is Russell Aaron, and um, I'm NQ Rust. That is a WordPress thing. Go to the WordPress Codex and Google NQ, spell it like I do, or go check out my website, Russell Envy, E N V Y dot com. Um, you know, and the last thing, Jason, you and I, when I first met you, it was on water cooler. It yeah, was man. talking about multi site. So I want to pimp water cooler. You should check out WP Water Cooler and Blab, the WordPress marketing show, every Friday, 12 p.m eastern and 2 p.m eastern so that's 9 a.m pacific and 11 pacific yep. i think i i think i crushed that yeah, i think, I think those are the right that. times yeah, yeah. um you know um i just said um see like you were saying you're gonna right. do it how long have we been word podcasting and this is the thing jason tucker thank you for coming on the show you've been not only a friend but a mentor and somebody who um I've been paying you in Bitcoin a long time ago because I ask you a lot of questions. <laughs> well, I'll take a Bitcoin. How about that? <laughs> Quick me up, bro. An entire Bitcoin. Um, yeah, an entire Bitcoin. They're not that much, right? Not that much. Yeah, I love it. Um, so everybody, thank you. This has been WP Roundtable. Please go check us out, wproundtable.show. We have new episodes. Go check us out on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, please. Go over to our, our website. You can go learn more. See last week's episode with Devin Walker, another friend that's been on Roundtable. I challenge you to meet somebody who has not been on Roundtable or Water Cooler in the WordPress space, and I bet you it's very, very hard. With that, smash the, bell. smash the bell, people. Smash the bell. Jason Tucker, thank you. Everybody, have a good day. Hope to see you again on WP Roundtable.